Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Daha Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings SAS Scandinavian Airline System Airbus A320neo new engine option featuring the Sharklets in a 1-200 scale model. This is my set third SAS Scandinavian Airline System model as we speak and I purchased this model from Troy's Toys whose store is based out of Olden Park, Kansas here in the United States of America and his website address is www.troystoysinc.com but first before I go into details about this particular model allow me to give you some heads up information about the history of SAS Scandinavian Airline System if you would please Scandinavian Airlines was founded on August 1, 1946 as a consortium to the transatlantic operations of Fence Intercontinental Luck Traffic AB, Det Danske Luck Farsel Scope AS, and Det Norske Luck Farsel Skip AS and formed a partnership to handle the intercontinental air traffic of these three Scandinavian countries as the airline officially commenced operations on September 17, 1946. Scandinavian Airlines are SAS Scandinavian Airline System with the legal name Scandinavian Airline System Denmark, Norway, Sweden is the national flag carrier airline for the countries of Sweden, Norway and Denmark as well as the largest operating airline in the country of Scandinavia whereas the headquarters of Scandinavian Airlines are SAS the Scandinavian Airline System Octi Bolag which, by the way, are the actual owners of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, is located at the SAS Fransson Davik office building, which is located in Sona, Sweden, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of Copenhagen Kastrup Airport, which is located approximately five miles south of the city center of Copenhagen, Denmark, on the island of Amager while the airline's other primary hubs are located at Stockholm Orlando Airport which is located in Stockholm Sweden and Oslo Airport which is located in the Oslo Norway suburb section of Garden Mode. and the airline's focus city hubs are located at Bergen Airport located in Fleesland, Bergen, Norway Gothenburg Lambetta Airport located in Gothenburg Lambetta, Sweden Stavanger Airport located in Solon, Norway Trondheim Airport located in Trondheim, Norway, and Tromsø Airport located in Tromsø, Norway. As of November 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, SAS Scandinavian Airline System flies to 123 destinations across Asia, Europe, and North America with an operating fleet of 161 aircraft that includes 25 Airbus A320s, in which 11 of those are the Airbus A320-200s, and 14 Airbus A320neos, new engine option aircraft. And in addition to the 14 Airbus A320neos that currently operates in the Scandinavian Airlines fleet, the airline also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 68 more aircraft, which includes 57 Airbus A320neos, and those aircraft as we speak are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also as of November 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, SAS Scandinavian Airline System currently operates as a certified three-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Scott Tracks Magazine. Alright everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box as you see here. See at the top there you see the Airbus A320neo, the aircraft type. And behind the SAS uh, billboard title you see the, the, uh, the flags of the three different countries. I'll go into that momentarily. As well as the SAS billboard title there. Then you see the computer generated picture of the aircraft. You see the Scandinavian Airlines title, as well as the 1 200 scale Docker as aircraft model information at the lower part of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box where you see the SAS Scandinavian Airlines title, the aircraft type Airbus A320 Neo, new engine option, as well as the specifications on this uh, model concerning this aircraft. You see the length as well as the width of the aircraft as well as the warning information as well as the JC Wings Facebook information page. You can go to their Facebook page and get information about that and the JC Wings logo. You can look at all that if you want to. Pause and read that if you want to. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this uh, video review moving. Okay. Now you're looking at the top of the box where you see the aircraft type, the Scandinavian Airlines SAS title, the Scandinavian Airlines system logo as well as the three uh, 
flag colors, countries of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. So Viking, the name of the uh, aircraft, I'll go into that momentarily. As well as the one 200 scale diecast aircraft model information at the top of the box. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box, the same information that I showed you at the top of the box earlier on. Okay. Now you're looking at the metal model stand that actually came with the model. We're going to start down here first where you see the, uh, the Scandinavian title, the aircraft uh, type, as well as scale model information on this metal model stand. And then you come up here, you see that little black pattern on the uh, model stand? The purpose of that black pattern is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched when you put your model on this particular model stand. Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of SAS Scandinavian Airlines system and the history of how they got started, all the details here on this box, as well as the specification information at the back of the box, as well as the model stand that came with the model. With no further ado, everyone, here is the model. Check it out. All right, there it is, everyone, the JC Wings SAS Scandinavian Airlines System Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft featuring the Sharp 15 1 200 scale model. All right, allow me to share some information about the SAS Scandinavian Airlines System Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft featuring the Sharp and how it came apart of the fleet. Okay. SAS Scandinavian Airlines System became the second European carrier after Lufthansa, as well as the sixth operator in the world overall after Lufthansa, Air Asia, Indigo, the Latam Airlines Group, and Pegasus Airlines, respectively, to acquire this prestigious, state of the art, fuel efficient aircraft as SAS Scandinavian Airlines System took delivery of its first of 71 of the next generation Airbus A320 Neo new engine option aircraft that the airline had placed orders for back on June 20, 2011 at a delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility in Hamburg, Germany on October 20, 2016. With the carrier's first Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft bears the registration ship number LN-RGL, which is this aircraft we're looking at here. And at the time of this video review posting, only 14 aircraft of this type are currently operating in service, while the remaining 57 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. As SAS Scandinavian Airlines System expects to have all 71 of their Airbus A320neos new engine option aircraft fully operating in the carrier's fleet by the end of 2023, as this aircraft will become the aircraft that will eventually replace the Boeing 737 new generation aircraft and the Airbus A320 CEO current engine option aircraft sometime in the foreseeable future. All right, everyone, let's talk about delivery on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System, which was unveiled sometime in September 1998 with the introduction of the Boeing 737 Next Generation aircraft. And as part of the company's new identity makeover, the aircraft were given a white body that was eventually painted in an eggshell off-white scheme as the Scandinavian billboard title was eventually replaced with the Scandinavian Airlines title. The vertical stabilizer, the tail, was eventually painted blue and the engine columns were eventually painted red. The airline's livery scheme, as well as the classic white SAS logo, was created and designed by the consultancy firm of the Stockholm Design Lab, whose global headquarters is located in Stockholm, Sweden. So, with all that information out of the way about the, uh, the how this aircraft came apart of their fleet, which is going to be a game changer, as well as the livery you see displayed on this aircraft, with no further ado, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side, where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear uh, door featuring the partial registration ship number, RGL, as well as the Peter tube and the static ports, what have you, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, as well as the windshield wipers. I'll give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. But right underneath the cockpit windows, you see the, uh, the logo, which is this right here. And this is the airline's corporate logo, which is the acronym for Scandinavian Airline System. As this logo can be seen on the sharply wingtip devices. I'm going to show you that right now. 
there on the wingtip device there inside the wingtip device as well there as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft check it out there it is there you have it awesome all right we're at the back we at the front of the aircraft uh here on the port side still and you see the three colored flag decals which is display right here these three colored flag decals actually represents the countries where SAS Scandinavian Airlines system currently operates from as the major flag carrier for the following countries. Norway, which is blue and red, which will be right here. Sweden, which is yellow and blue, which is the middle one right there. And Denmark, which is white and red, which is played right there. As these same three colored flag decals can also be seen near the rear of the aircraft. I'm going to show you those again. Check it out. Alright, we're at the back of the aircraft. Once again, the three uh, flag decals. This is uh, Norway right here. That is Sweden. And that is Denmark. Okay. Alright, once again, I'm back at the front of the aircraft here on the port side. And underneath the SAS logo and the three uh, colored flag decals, you see the name of the aircraft, Soul Viking. And Soul Viking is the name of this aircraft that the employees of SAS Scandinavian Airlines System decided to honor and pay tribute to upon receiving its very first Airbus A320 Neo new engine option aircraft as Soul Viking, who was also named Asenja who was a goddess in Nordic mythology as well as one of the two main tribes of deities that was venerated by the pre-Christian Norse during the 12th and the 17th centuries respectively as all aircraft in the SAS Scandinavian Airlines fleet, fleet are traditionally honored and named after Vikings, okay? And then you see the Star Alliance decal right there between the cockpit windows and the L1 door. SAS Scandinavian Airlines System joined the Star Alliance along with Air Canada, Lufthansa, Thai Airways International, as well as United Airlines as one of the five founding members on May 14, 1997, which consists of 27 airline members from five inhabited continents. And then you always see on the right side of the L1 door right here, see right there, that's a slogan, and that slogan read as thus, this is the door to our second home. We are travelers, S-A-S. That's what it says on that, uh, by the L1 door, okay? And now you're looking at the Scandinavian Airlines billboard tiles right there at the uh, front part of the fuselage. All right, we're at the center of the aircraft. We're looking at the, uh, the bo landing bogey gears here, the la as well as the landing gear doors right there. But more important, you see this big massive engine right there with the Scandinavian uh, billboard title painted on the red column. And these are the CFMI LEAP, which stands for Leading Edge Aviation Propulsion Dash 1A26 type engines that are used on this particular SAS Scandinavian Airline System fuel efficient Airbus A320 Neo new engine option aircraft. Okay, you also see the uh, engine cones right there. Now I'm gonna turn this aircraft model around, let you see the front of the engines and the turbo fan blades through spin. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here, featuring the engine strikes on this side as well as on that side. Now, as I mentioned, the turbo fan blades do spin. Check them out. Okay. Then you got a better uh, front view of the uh, landing bogey gears here on the port side as well as the landing gear doors. Okay. Now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side, featuring the engine strikes here as well as over there, and the turbo fan blade spin as well. Check that out. Okay, you also got a, a, a front visual view of the landing bogey gears there on the starboard side as well as the landing gear doors. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here and you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the nose cone. Now you're looking at the nose gears, the nose gear struts, as well as the nose gear uh, landing lights right there. Ain't none in there, but they there as well as the nose gear door. Alright, we're still on the port side of the aircraft and you're looking at the wingtip device you see there. 
and it actually began back in 2009 that's when Airbus came up with another created name for these blended wings as you can see here on the uh, aircraft in which the company decided to call them the Charlotte's which is designed to enhance payload range performance resulting in less fuel consumption at the same time Auckland based Air New Zealand actually became the very first airline to have these wingtip devices installed on their Airbus A320 aircraft back in 2012. You also see the SAS title uh, right there as well as painted in blue. And then you see the red navigation light right next to that chocolate wingtip device. Alright, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the, uh, the three flag decals I mentioned earlier. Blue and red represents Norway, yellow and blue represents Sweden, and white and red represents Denmark. And then underneath the windows here, near the uh, L4 door, is the registration ship number LN-RGL. Registration ship number LN-RGL. This aircraft is the first of 71 Airbus A320neos new engine option aircraft that entered the SAS Scandinavian Airlines fleet and the first test flight on this aircraft took place on October 10, 2016 and was delivered to SAS Scandinavian Airlines system on October 20, 2016. Alright, we still at the back of the aircraft here on the port side where you see the blue painted tail fin you see there with the SAS logo on there which SAS stands for Scandinavian Airlines system, okay, as I mentioned earlier. Alright, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft still, and what you see there is the APU exhaust hole right there. It ain't no hole there, but they just painted one in there. That's the APU exhaust hole, and APU stands for Auxiliary Power Unit, as well as a visual view of the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is, folks. Now you look at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there, RGL. You see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the star lines decal, the SAS uh, logo, the three country decals which represents Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. You see the name of the aircraft underneath there, uh, Sol Viking. You see the uh, front uh, Boat Bend door as well as the Scandinavian Airlines titles displayed there as well. Now you got a better visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the starboard side as well as the landing gear doors. Then you got a better visual view of the CFMI Leap Leading Edge Aviation Proposal 1A26 type engine here on the starboard side featuring the Scandinavian uh, title painted on the uh, red column there. Impressive. The engine cone right there. Now you're looking at the Charlotte wingtip device uh, displayed on this side of the aircraft featuring the green uh, navigation light. And you also see the SAS, the airline's uh, acronym logo painted in blue on this wingtip device as well. Alright, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the uh, rear boat bend door, the AFT boat bend door, you see the three country flag decals which represents Norway which is blue and red. Sweden is yellow and blue, and Denmark is white and red. And you see the registration ship number as well as the airline's uh, acronym logo playing on the blue tail fin of the aircraft. Check it out. There's the blue painted tail fin with the airline's uh, acronym logo on the tail fin. Okay, before I show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears, which they roll pretty good, okay? Even tilts by itself, which is impressive. And the nose gear, the, it swivels a little bit, it don't swivel much though, as you can see there. So, with that being said, allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, we're going to start at the front. You see the nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, and then you see the uh, antenna there. You see the Scandinavian billboard tile on both sides, and then you see the um, 
the anti-collision beacon light right here displayed there you can come here another antenna you see the flag decals of Norway Sweden and Denmark another antenna and then the tail and then the horizontal stabilizer featuring the little dot right there as well as over here that little dot you see there folks those are the illuminator lights illuminator lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime now let's check out the uh, wings we see the wing walkway the engine as well as the warning information as well as the flat slats aileron spoilers what have you you see the sharply wingtip device with the SAS logo painted in blue there. Then we go over this side here. You see the wing walkway there. The engine right there. The warning information right there. As well as the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. And then you see the uh, sharply wingtip device with the SAS logo inside the sharply wingtip device there as well. Now looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft now, we see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, the open nose gear door, the nose gear, then you slide up this way, the anti-collision beacon light right there, the hole where the stand goes in at, another antenna, pressure lead valves right there, another antenna, as well as the APU housing doors right there, and the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Then we come over this way the gears the engine right there the big massive engine as well as the flat slats aileron spoilers the registration ship number as well as the uh, charlotte wingtip device on this side of the aircraft now we come over to this side here see the gears right there the engines as well as the flat slats aileron spoilers what have you as well as the charlotte wingtip device on this side of the aircraft as well All right, since I showed you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm gonna put it on the stand that actually came with the model you see, see right there. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine, got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation, as you see it being displayed in a takeoff landing position in, uh, with the model on the stand on the port side. All right, now you're looking at this model being displayed in, a, in the uh, front position, uh, in a takeoff landing position uh, with the model on the stand. Now you're seeing this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position with the model on the stand on the starboard side. And now you see this model being displayed in a takeoff landing position from the tail cam angle with the model on the stand. All right. Since this model has no gear replacement doors, I'm gonna go ahead and take this model to stand and go ahead and uh, rack this model review up with the seating configuration, configuration and where they actually utilize this aircraft for the time being, okay? Okay, let's talk about the seating configuration. The SAS Scandinavian Airlines System Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft featuring the Sharpet wingtip device seats 180 passengers in a single class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows 1 to 30 which will be from here all the way back to here you have a total of 180 economy class seats. And finally SAS Scandinavian Airlines System currently employs their fuel efficient Airbus A320neo new engine option aircraft on routes from Copenhagen, the Faroe Islands, Riga, Oslo, Norway, Malta, Abia, Beirut, Genoa, Lisbon, Sarajevo, Aarhus, Malaga, and London Heathrow, and from Oslo to Copenhagen, Denmark, Christina, Stavanger, Nice France, Malacca, and Christy and Sand from Stockholm to Lisbon, Shannon and Pristina, and from Aarhus to Split. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. In the meantime, 
rate, subscribe, leave me your comments and suggestions. And with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.